My mocap workflow currently makes use of Motorica's MoGen browser application. This is an incredibly useful tool, particularly for prototyping. It takes an input trajectory and outputs an entire animation. To streamline my workflow, I've written various scripts in Cascadora to generate specific trajectories with motion matching in mind. I set various parameters to match my movement model and desired style of output animation. Here, I show only a few examples. A straight trajectory, a pivot trajectory, a snake trajectory, a spiral trajectory, and a circle trajectory. Once I've generated all the animations I want using these trajectories, I bring them into Unreal and retarget them to the desired skeleton. For this video, I've retargeted only to the UE5 Mani. To help with prototyping and limit importing and exporting into and out of animation software, I wrote some simple animation modifiers. I'll demonstrate partly what I use them for. For example, to limit pose repetition in my motion matching database, I want to cut some animations and make them loop. First, I trim them. I select the cut point, which is a frame that will act as the first frame of the soon to be looping animation. I often choose the cut type to be pose match, which will search the entire animation for a pose most similar to the cut point frame. I set the direction of propagation, and I choose the number of frames to skip in the pose search. I want to make sure that the resulting animation is reasonably long. I set the modifier to match every bone in the skeleton, since performance doesn't matter for a one-time application like this. And then I apply the modifier. With the animation cut, you can see the loop is not perfect. That's what the blend modifier is for. I keep the animation to match set to this animation, which means I'll be matching the start and end poses of this specific animation. I can also match this animation to a pose in a different animation sequence as I would for a transition animation, but I'm not demonstrating that here. I want to modify both the first and last poses of the current animation, so I choose that option and then select the blend method. I found the last blend method to generally work the best. Credit goes to Daniel Holden for his article on blending animations. I then set other parameters. Now the first and last poses are the same. I'll then modify the root bone. Here I'm doing the simplest thing and just removing the root offset so the bone starts at zero at the first frame of the animation. The final thing I'll do is constrain the IK bones. And now we have an animation that loops. It's not the most perfect loop, but it's good enough for getting the pose countdown while in the prototyping phase of motion matching implementation. I'll repeat the process on relevant animations and then begin prototyping in the animation blueprint. 